Good morning, Virgos. This is your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. And while I'm busy shoveling cards, you might want to join the channel and press subscribe. And also, why don't you just like? And when you're done watching, please share it widely. Anyway, Virgos, you're ready? What we will do here, we will divide the reading into areas so it is a bit easier uh, to make sense of things. And we will look at the overall energy for the month of October 2022. Then we will look at opportunities. Sorry, <laughs> we will look at opportunities, but later. We will look at your emotional core, see what can go, see what comes in, before we then look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October. Now, let me just say that. Remember the origin story of the shamanic tribes tells us that we come from the stars and that we come from a place called the Pleiades. The Pleiades. And remember that the moon governs our emotions. And because we are here on this planet, on this plane, we always looked up at the stars and wondered where we're from. In any case, um, we are from the Pleiades. And the reason why I mention this is because between the 12th and the 14th, of October, the moon sits right underneath the Pleiades, which means our emotions can truly connect to our place of origin, meaning that mid-months you will likely feel much less isolated and much less alone. That's something to look forward to. In any case, let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Let's see what the guides have got for you. And your topic or your you are, you are, um, blah, 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 blah. can't talk, you know, <laughs> it's a voyage. So, and also, I just talked about the, um, the, uh, blah, blah, blah. what's going on with me, can't talk, <laughs> the origin story, and the origin story says that we came here from the Pleiades in a cloud in the shape of a whale, and the whale is our first mother, and look what's on the voyage card. Here's your whale. So, Virgos, what you are asked to do and understand this month is that you are not alone. So what you're asked to do is to understand that should you live in an environment where you feel super isolated, rather than going into asking yourself, what have I done? Um, look around you and, and notice who and what is it that makes you feel isolated and then ask the guides to help you manifest a better uh, environment which includes people but your job for one of the word this month is to understand that life is one big journey and while life goes through phases and we all go through cycles take one step take one day at a time why are you rushing things? Why do you let people and situations rush you? This is your life. You live it according to your pace. Really, really important. You are in charge of your life. No one else. Make this your mantra. I'm in charge. I am who I am. I know who I am. I deserve better. I deserve everything. I manifest better. You know, I have, have mantras. They help. They help a lot, Virgos. But please understand this. You are not really as alone as you sometimes feel. And this is the month for you to realize that if you feel alone and if you feel nothing is working, it will lower your energy and your vibrations. And the universe can only answer you on the vibrations you give out. Really, really important to, to do something. Um, about this right so an alignment alignment of sorts would be would be really good you have your chakras aligned look at your aura right and there's loads of things you can be doing invest in yourself if that makes sense right uh, because you're so worth it okay well goes let's have a look at um your emotional core which is sort of what we already sort of talked about already and you have embracing which just continues on from the voyage you are on, Virgos. Embrace life regardless of the things that aren't working. When you begin to embrace 
um, all the good things in life. Your vibration gets higher. You also understand that that you have choices, right? So don't believe for a minute that um, you you can plan anything. If that makes sense, people say that all the time. Oh. Um, I would really like to change my, my life, but um, I need to be in that job. Well, the moment you say you need to be in that job, that's what you just manifested, right? There is no safety, there's no security. If the job turned around to you tomorrow and said, sorry, there's no more job, you would find a way to not be under a bridge. It is therefore illogical to think that you need a certain amount of circumstances to be happy and to live your life. While anything else will feel like a setback, the point the guides are making is embrace all there is and understand that everything there is and all there is to a large extent can still be altered by you but embrace the life you've lived because this is your voyage embrace how far you've come pat yourself on the back be good to yourself that seems to be the 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 the, the energy theme here for you burgos you don't seem to be all that bothered to let you know that you're bloody awesome. So ask yourself, why is that, right? And if you are a person that, that has learned that, please, please share that with others. Really, really important, okay? But Virgos, this is about understanding self-love and self-help. And it starts with you, okay? Lastly, let's look at opportunities as they come to you uh, in the month of October. Now, and that sort of is easy, in a way, because obviously they talk to you about your energy and and you know how how you how when you let yourself, um, energetically speaking, be lowered, nothing really works because when it comes to opportunities, you need to go into action. So what that means is opportunities don't just show up for you. You have to really want something. You have to understand it to deserve all the best that there is. But you have to be proactive to actually get it. All right. <clears throat> Virgos, thank you so much. That's all we got. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Times are hard. I would really, really appreciate a coffee. <laughs> all right then, guys. Bye bye.